I'm on a corner and all of a sudden I don't see a road. Robert Cornejo Garcia figures he drove up just a couple of minutes after the slide. I didn't hear anything because I had the music turned up. Uh, and then when I got there, there's just huge trees coming down, you know, loud noises. Department of Transportation engineers say the snow, water, mud, and trees came from a hill a mile and a half above the highway around 9 o'clock Sunday night. The slide wiped out a bridge and carried rebar a half mile downstream. Searchers looked for any cars that might have been swept away, but it doesn't appear anyone was hurt. It took a couple of minutes to, you know, calm down a little bit. I was shaking a lot. But Corneo Garcia, 11 others, and one dog, Malu, were all trapped by the landslide and forced to spend the night. It's the heat, the, the snow melt, and that led to a landslide, and now we got to be hella back. Monday morning, everyone was safely taken by helicopter over the blocked portion of Highway 504 to safety and family in Castle Rock. It was a lot bigger than I thought. When you Tim Mueller it. hoped to get pictures of the Milky Way overnight. Instead, he spent the morning flying his drone over the slide zone. We had lots of cameras, not as much food and water. So my first time there, as I'm driving up, I'm thinking about like how crazy it would have been to see the natural disaster of like it getting an explosion. Um, and then I end up being a part of a natural disaster <laughs> while being up there. Those folks were stranded there because Highway 504 ends at the Johnston Ridge Observatory. It's a dead end. The Ridge Observatory was supposed to open to visitors today. Now it's not clear when it will open because this is not just a cleanup that has to happen. A new bridge has to be built for the highway. Live near Mount St. Helens, Drew Mickelson, King 5 News.